Morning guys and welcome back to the job we were at a couple of weeks ago fitting the Viva EV charger. Today we are here because we're fitting the solar system. The DNO was super quick actually so a massive thanks to the SSE for being really quick about two weeks on the DNO approval. We're here today to fit the give all in one. Tomorrow we've got the panels going up, we've got the inverter going in, we've got the gateway going in. We've done the board change, there's a lot of tidying up to do here because we need to get tails around to the gateway and we'll go into that in a bit more detail later on. But I think what we'll do is we'll just hop straight in and we'll, uh, we'll catch you further in this cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in today's video, I tried to work out my left and rights for hanging the all-in-one bracket. We have an absolute whirl fitting the gateway, finding time where we can isolate power to get this bad boy hooked up. And lastly, we have an absolute mare commissioning the system with basically no help from Give at all. Enjoy. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is get the bracket on for the Give all-in-one so we can hang it. And uh, as uh, Jordan from Artisan was saying recently, um, he really liked it. Uh, you can't really go wrong because you've got a left and a right mark. So uh, as long as that goes on the left and that goes on the right, this should hang a dream. Um, so we're all marked up. It actually comes with a template, um, which is ideal. Um, I like to check that anyway with that real measurements, but it works out really nicely. So we've got it all marked up. And the next thing we're going to be doing is we'll get that drill, get these fixed to the wall. Then we can hang the, the carcass of the all-in-one back. Uh, we took all the batteries out yesterday when we were here doing the board change just so it was easier to lug in. And um, yeah, we're, we're ready to get the shell on the road now. So um, yeah, we'll hop over to a time lapse and get this hung together. So as you can see behind me, we've got the brackets on the wall, left and right. Got it the right way around, always a good start. Uh, so the next thing we can now do is get this in here, position it, lift off the floor, the floor, the floor, hang it, and then we've got on the bottom of the all-in-one, uh, they've got some adjustable feet. So if it's not quite level from a floor perspective, because we've put the brackets on so that when it's hung, it will be sat on the floor still, fixed back to the wall. We can level those out as necessary. So let's get that end covered together and let's get her on, because we might need your help. It's pretty heavy. Whew. So... Brackets are on, as you saw, this is hung. Um, took a bit of fiddling around, getting it nice and level. The feet are all touching the floor now, so we can get that um, fixed into the bracket through the grub screw on the side. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave all the gubbins out for now. Yeah, look at getting some trunking mapped out in here. Uh, the gateway is gonna go up there. And we've got the inverter to uh, sort when that arrives uh, some point this morning. Um, Whew, out of breath. So that's going to be, it's just going to grow what string inverter, just a dumb inverter for the solar. And then obviously the give um, gateway and the all-in-one will be the, the power show around here. 13.5 uh, kilowatts of battery storage, whole home backup in the event of power loss. So we have got a 16 mil earth to get out, put an earth pit and earth rod in the ground. So it's got backup. Because obviously if you lose um, your supply to your house for a period of time, you must assume that you've also lost your earth, um, so it needs a backup earth, which will be connected into the gateway, um, which basically then becomes the MET for the property. So we'll connect to the MET we've got up there, and then we just need to tidy all this, these tails up in trunking that we're going to have. So guys, the gateway is on uh, above me over here. Um, this opens on the side as like a sort of a meter style, meter covered style key that goes on the side, give it a twist, that then opens up, which we'll look at in a bit. What we're going to take a look at doing now is um, having some trunking coming straight across here, low enough down from that that we can get some glands in to come out and then obviously back out, jam sort of battery and inverter and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll get that beat across like that and then we've got some T's and flat noise and stuff depending on where we end up putting everything. Uh, we're kind of waiting on the string and to turn up to see where that's going to go and then that'll determine where we put our isolators. So um, yeah, Pete's just gone to um, get ready to cut that trunk in and then we'll get her on the wall. So while Pete's just uh, cutting that trunk in and getting some holes done, I might do a bit of a bit of a POV into the inside of the gateway. So over here you've got uh, where you bring your tails in, so the main tail's coming in. Obviously bearing in mind this needs to be before your fuse board and um, the tails coming out your meter need to be going into here. You've then got the bypass switch and then the load, the load being your fuse board and the rest of the installation. And then over here we've got the uh, PV inverter supply and the all-in-one battery supply. 
and RCDs, etc. We've got our generation meters, etc. up here. DC surge and stuff built in. That's where all the data connections go, and then your main earthing terminal. Um, but yeah, at first sort of sites, it looks like there's a lot going on there, but it's not that bad, and uh, there's plenty of room to work with. So yeah, looking forward to getting that sort of wired up in a bit. Um, but yeah, first thing is we'll get the trunk on the wall, get the glands in for the tails, and then um, yeah, start uh, start getting some stuff on the wall. Yo, so still in this cupboard. The weather is shocking today outside. I'm hoping it clears up for tomorrow when we've got the roof is here because those panels are going on regardless. Um, anyway, so this is the gateway opened up. Um, we've got the trunking on. We've got our tails going in that are basically the ones coming through from the meter um, disconnected. Uh, look, it's got some Henley blocks. I don't know if you can see them over there. They're going to go into the Henley blocks then link to the tails coming through the wall to the meter. We've got no hope of actually getting... Um, new tails through that will go straight into this so there's just handy blocks there basically um, extending that we're then going to be coming out of here and then it'll go back into our board we've got a big loop ready to bring those in and then for tonight or for today and overnight we'll have the bypass switch in the on position because um, we're not ready today to be bringing loads out and getting the all-in-one set up today so um, until tomorrow the bypass will be on um, so we're just kind of a bit of band to move these Henleys um, a bit further up because over here will be the grow watch string inverter. I don't know if you can see that in that view. Um, we were going to put it over here, but the wall is a stud wall, whereas that's a solid breeze block behind uh, or block work. So it'd be a nicer fixing because uh, it's quite weighty. It's a 10 kilowatt, three string single phase inverter due to the amount of panels. We've got 28 going on, um, 28 four tens. So we've got... So there are 11 kilowatts of solar going on the roof. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this stage done now and then that can just be shut up for the rest of the day, power back on, um, once obviously we've turned it off to do that. And then we can focus on getting the inverter on the wall and uh, getting some strings around the loft. Um, so yeah. And Doncaster Cables have actually been very kind in letting us try out some of the PV Ultra. Uh, we've gone for the two core variant because um, we've got strings in different areas so rather than going for like the, the four pair or two pair four times you know what I mean uh, variant um, which wouldn't have been convenient because the strings are in different locations we've gone for the two pair so we can obviously cut the length we want take it to that string strip it back and vice and same with the other string now it's double insulated at the point you've stripped it back so when you to the red and white it's still double insulated so you can take that straight through and um, connect up to the panels um, there's no need for like a combiner box or anything like that equally if you did want to put in a combiner box or an adaptable box and just take normal dc pairs through you could do that but the whole point of pv ultra is uh, making the electrician's life easier hence taking it through um, and if you design your strings nicely you shouldn't have to strip back too much of it but it is super easy to strip back if you were with the cord in it um so yeah when we're up in the loft doing that we'll show you uh that being running guys are you like me where you're in the position where you own a business run a business or even manage a business for someone else because if you are you'll know like i do it's really important to be able to run that on the go you can't just be sat in an office all the time sometimes you've got to be on site being productive in other ways now take a walk with me and we'll talk about that a bit more now, perhaps when you're on site, you need to be able to access things like quotes, invoices, contact customers, upload photos, all that sort of thing. Now, before I used Powered Now, I really struggled to do that. And I was doing a lot of stuff outside of work hours at home, or I was being in the office, not being productive, burning money for the business. And since we've jumped on, it has absolutely transformed the way we do things. Because I'm here on site now, and I'm working, I can respond to customers, I can call customers, I can send them messages, quotes, invoices, schedule jobs, all of that sort of thing. I can do it all from here, on some scaffold, by a roof, ready to put solar on. Uh -huh. Right guys, if you want to be like me, not literally, but if you want to be able to run your business much smoother, be on site, be on the tools, earning money for the business whilst being productive and whilst running it, not having to be in the office all the time, being able to quote, invoice, send appointment reminders, book in jobs, send photos, the lot, you want to get on Powered Now. Now for £75 upfront for six months on the business plan, you'll then get the following six months for free. So that's 12 months for the price of six. 
and you can click on the link below to take a look at that. You can sign up for 14 days to have a play around with it completely for free, no car details required at all. And then you can take use of that offer and transform the way you run your business like us. Now, get on it, have a play around. It's absolutely awesome. We'll see you on it. All right, so we've got the power for the minute. <clears throat> um, we've got the, the tails coming in um, from the, the incoming supply, as I was mentioning earlier. And then we've got our load out with the load uh, being the property, so the fuse board, the Verso double stacker. Um, so they're all in, obviously the power's off. We're just gonna torque up these. And then um, when I say torque them up, I mean with a torque screwdriver, not uh, chat to them. Uh, we always use the Weeha one. Um, all of my hand tools are Weeha um, in regards to like screwdrivers and cutters. So I think they're the best, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, we've got this setup ready to go. Go through these. They're all good, even the manufacturer's ones. Because you can't trust the manufacturer. If they are loose and you don't check them, they'll blame you. And you gotta, there you go, look. See on that manufactured one, I've got a couple of turns. Beautiful. Go along the top, and then we'll be ready to get this show back on the road. Uh, get a quick read in here, and then we'll um, power back up, get the customer's power back on. I hope he's gonna get the kettle on. He has been very good at that. Cool. Lovely. <laughs> Perfecto. So, um, yeah, always important to follow the manufacturer's instructions when talking up uh, main switches, RCBOs, buzzwires, etc., because they're all different. Well, some are the same, but they vary a lot. So, just check on the breaker. It'll normally give you an indication as to what that is. And even with um, even with these handy blocks we've used over here, they have a torque rating because they're Allen key, so they're three newton meters. So they're they're all torqued up as well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you and uh, get the power back on obviously in a bit. So, um, we've just been doing a bit of a walk around site. Uh, it's quite a large property in terms of the land that's here and there's some south boards elsewhere and it goes on and on. I'll pop a little um, picture up at this point of a, a cool little sort of uh, barbecue room or hut. It's, uh, it's insane. Um, so yeah, that'll be somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, we've just got a couple of circuits left to test. We didn't get to yesterday. Um, and then we'll probably be towards the end of the day and uh, back in the morning. Right guys, uh, day two on the job, except technically day three, but I never filmed day one, so we'll call this uh, day two. Um, we've got our Doncaster Cape EV Ultra, the two core variant that they were very kind in sending out to us um, so we could try it out. So this is going to do at least one of the strings we've got going on here. Um, so we've got to set up on the rumper tech and then up in that corner I've made a hole so Pete's just heading up in the loft. I'll get this one fed up to him first because it's the furthest run we're doing and then we'll get the other strings sorted afterwards. See us up in the loft. So guys, I'm just up in the uh, loft looking for a route through. There's like three different lofts here because um, the building's quite long and there's walls, party walls in between each one. So we're having to find the best route through for that. So Pete is the other side of where I am and I'm in here. So we've got our strings up in the loft now, guys. We've got one string being done in the PB Ultra, which is the furthest string. There's not enough of it to do the other two. So the other two is the conventional way. So we'll have basically strings one, two and three. Um, they're all up in the loft, we're just going to pop up there, Pete's up there at the moment, just coming down for a little breather and then we'll D-line the PV Ultra along and get these uh, in with it. Uh, the good thing about the PV Ultra is it already has the um, danger and awareness uh, writing on it about being live during the day and obviously indicating it's a solar cable, so that's fantastic. Um, it does stand out quite nicely, but we'll still put some stickers along it so it's double clear because in a you know, a lofts even with lights in aren't super bright, so it might be a case of someone else mistakes that for something else, but it isn't. So we'll we'll put some additional stickers on that to make it really clear. But it's um, it's flown up. Absolutely love the stuff, and I wish we could have been using it on all three strings. But we just don't have enough. But we will be using it on future projects for sure. So thank you, Doncaster. I don't know if you can see up there, but the boys from Savoy Services who are helping us do the roofing element of the job have already got the hooks and rail on the main elevation where there's going to be 19 in portrait. 
and they're now around the other side uh, just doing that section now yeah, catch them around there in a bit right guys we've made a nice amount of progress in here so obviously we've got the board we changed the other day up there that's the uh, 16 mil going to the earth rod that just needs sorting out and going in um the gateway is pretty much done up here we've then got our ac supply down to the all-in-one which just needs d-lining and tidying up two ac isolators one for the inverter one for the all-in-one and then we've got the three um dc isolators for the three strings one of which we've used the pv ultra which was quality definitely be using that again generation meter so we've just got some tidying up to do in here tomorrow lid that up and then commissioning let's go and um let's go and take a look on the roof to see how the boys have been getting on up there day four or day three of filming depending on how you're looking at it so we're, we're in a good position in here we've got all our strings our three strings identified and made off ready to test the strings they can then go in we've got all the isolators done uh, the gateway is ready five between the two is ready etc <laughs> a couple of bits to do to neaten things up in here obviously the labeling on the isolators and trunking and all that stuff and the inverter battery and all those combos um, yeah, Pete's just up in the loft getting the third string down because yesterday we had a, an issue with um, not having enough splicers um, for the rail so they haven't finished the roofing side of that but they're back this morning um, so he's getting that PV Ultra down there in the meantime we'll be able to get the other two plugged in get those tested and then hopefully start commissioning um, colliders have been awesome in helping us out with some issues we've had with Give Energy not the products just getting some things sorted and um, they've been really helpful which is winner winner um so yeah i'm sort of conscious that you're probably bored of watching me in this cupboard i'm bored of being in it to be honest with you um so we'll probably skip the next three steps while we're doing that and we'll hop up on the roof later take a look at the solar system get the irradiance reading all that sort of thing and uh we'll reconvene uh when we're on that scaffold <laughs> the end of uh was it day four or day three of filming been an absolute mare today with this give energy system everything we've done is fine um we've just been passed around the houses with technical support um to be honest if it wasn't for one of the people we spoke to there i'd have probably been driving up to, to give me a clout because uh they weren't great but um problem solved it's just too late in the day now to really go any further so we'll be back on monday and move a job so we'll see you on monday right guys we're all done it's actually saturday morning we chose not to come back on monday we come back on saturday because that's what we do at south coast ev if there's a problem we come back until it's sorted all fully commissioned it's about 10 a.m we've got four kilowatts of solar generation currently we've got nine panels over here the nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yes that is correct and then another 19 on another elevation of the roof some fantastic generation happening already. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, a lot of it has been me in the cupboard, so I do apologise. But uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps us grow the channel. And if you already do subscribe and have come back, thanks for coming back again. I think what we'll let you do is enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, I'm probably off to the football later to watch Bournemouth beat Man City. And we'll see you on the next one.